HS402 Wi-Fi capability is provided by this ESP32 WROOM chip. It needs a firmware flash for this project. Everything we need can be found here on Martin Lawrence GitHub repository. We'll download it all as a zip and we'll extract it and explore the folder. We're interested in the HS402 project the Wi-Fi variant, the ESP32 firmware. Best place to start is the installation of the Windows driver so that the ESP32 can be recognized as a device here. We'll extract that. Go in here. And you just run this exe file. I've already done this. Once that's installed, you're able to plug in your ESP32 into the computer USB. And it will be properly detected. Next, we'll be needing this flash download tool. Let's extract that. And it's going to be in this folder. Before we open that, I want to bring your attention to these three binary files. We're going to be calling up on these. So let's go to our download tool. And it's an exe file. We're going to run it. Developer mode. The ESP32 download tool. Let's maximize this. So here we're going to call up on our binary files. And we're going to start with the bootloader binary file. Choose that one. Open. Let's load another one. The partition table binary file. And finally, the firmware itself binary file. Now we have to manually enter the hexadecimal values here. Hexadecimal 1000. Hexadecimal 8000. Hexadecimal 10,000. And put three check marks. And we've got three greens. That's good. SPI speed set at 80 megahertz. Do not change the bin. There's a default here, COM90. Well, if we expand, it shows us that COM4 is already recognized where on which COM our ESP32 is plugged in. I'll be using this 921. 600 baud rate. It works for me. But in the GitHub folder, you will see a screenshot of all of these settings, and there they're showing 115 200 as a baud rate. If you find this one's too fast, step it down to 115 200. We're ready to start. And the flash is progressing. Doesn't take all that long at this baud rate. And it's finished. Process is done. We can close this. I now have my ESP32 board attached to my HS402 circuit. Let's have a look here in the settings, in the network. And I can see that the HS402 ESP32 board is one of the available connections. I will connect to it. The password for this default is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Connect. We are now connected to the ESP32 and not to our home network. Back out of here. Let's go with 8 scope. And 8 scope has connected. HS402 reading, 
in Wi-Fi mode. I'd like you to pay attention to two things here. The link speed is 72 megabits per second. We're striving for 150 megabits per second. The other thing is the gateway. For my device, it's 192.168.4.1. We're going to enter that into our internet browser. Which brings us to our ESP32 internal web page. And there we can make changes to the default. I'm going to keep the password. I'm cool with that. But I'd like to change the channel to 40 megahertz wide. And I'd like to center it on channel 6. And to do that, I'm going to start at channel 4. It will center two channels later. So let's use 4. And we'll save that. You'll notice that HS402 is uh, 40 megahertz wide, centered on channel 6. And now, if we go to our Wi-Fi settings and look at the properties of HS402 or ESP32, we're getting the 150 megabits per second link speed that we were striving for. In the description box, you're going to find a link to the GitHub and a link to the HScope group on the Telegram platform where additional support can be found. I hope you find these reference videos useful and we'll talk to you guys soon.